Expect wall-to-wall -wall sunshine on Thursday. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see all is quiet on the Ultimate Doppler Radar. The Ultimate Doppler Radar presented by Tidal Wave Auto Spa, the best express car wash and vacuum in East Tennessee. It's like getting two car washes for the price of one. Check them out at TidalWaveAutoSpa.com. All is quiet across the state of Tennessee tonight, and all is quiet across much of the Deep South. Now, we still have snowflakes flying off the Great Lakes, uh, as they say up there, because I worked up there in Rochester for four years some time ago. Uh, it's like you live by the lakes, you die by the lakes. If you're not a fan of snow, you're in the wrong spot. Uh, they get a lot of snow. Sometimes it comes down a half inch an hour. Sometimes it's one, two, or three inches an hour just downwind. And it can be a very narrow band, so it's uh, even more challenging to forecast, I can assure you. It's more snow across Colorado, and it's also raining in parts of Texas and Oklahoma uh, into Kansas as well. Now, our only weather item up for bid has been those high clouds, and they're about to vacate the premises. These high, thin cirrus clouds that you may have noticed throughout the day, and especially toward the end of the afternoon, uh, have been streaming in from the west, and they'll continue to thin out while we get uh, into the overnight period. So by midnight tonight, and thereafter, it should be nothing but stars. In fact, you probably can still see the stars because those clouds really aren't that thick, all things considered. Our high temperature today came in one degree higher than I thought. I said 57 this morning as I did modify it. And I said to my premium members at 6 o'clock in the morning, I said, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if we hit 58. We hit 58, which was 7 degrees above the normal. Uh, normal low is 33. We started the day at 29. It was 58 in Oak Ridge, but we had double fives, double nickels in Morristown, Wartburg, well, Follett, Middlesbrough, Jonesville, and Kingston. Lots of 55s in the area, even Crossville coming in there in Cumberland County at 55 for an afternoon high today, while Newport hit 56. Now, for those who are headed west, they may have fit maybe a little bit warmer, 60 in Nashville, 60 in Chattanooga, but 63 in around, say, Memphis during the course of today. Headlines, we're talking about sunshiny skies Thursday and Friday, and I mean wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. I don't mean like wall-to-wall -wall carpet. Although that was kind of like in vogue at some time ago. But no, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, where it's just, where are the clouds? Is something wrong with the atmosphere? We have no clouds. Big bubble, no trouble, parks overhead. So we're going to have uh, basically sinking air. So I don't expect any clouds, just another blue sky. So if you don't have a pair of good sunglasses, you might want to invest in a pair for tomorrow and Friday. The next chance of rain comes in on Sunday. And then, of course, uh, mountain snows. Sunday night into Monday because we've got a southern slider. Uh, it's it's going to be too warm for uh, for the valley to get snow on this event. But hey, if we keep this pattern going into January, uh, it could be a very exciting winter type of season. Let me show you what some of the models suggest tonight because I don't mind showing you. It's just it's nothing, uh, no no secret. It's going to be cold enough for snow in the Smokies, and some of the totals are pretty impressive. Uh, may not be as impressive in snowshoe, 3.7 there, but there are some bullseyes, it would appear, maybe over 8 inches, Mount uh, Clingman's Dome. Now, this will change every couple of hours. Every six hours or so, we get new data that really kind of says, okay. So there's not a lot of stock to be put in this yet, but if it's a pattern, and if we continue to see it as we get closer, uh, this weekend may be an interesting time to be in the Smokies. Storm Prediction Center, we're looking at maybe some thunderstorms of the general variety in Miami, South Texas, and into North Texas, parts of New, uh, New Mexico. Now, with sunshine, sunshiny skies here tomorrow, clearly we're not under that crosshairs, uh, and nor are we on Friday. But Friday, yes, some thunderstorms could move between Dallas and Houston while we continue on this dry pattern on Friday. Now, Saturday, I would describe it as hazy sunny clouds, but you could see from the future cast with the location of this high, and it's a pretty strong high, it parks itself over northern parts of Kentucky, near Louisville and Lexington, and with that high pressure dome, it will continue to influence the weather here in Tennessee. So it's really right through Friday afternoon that we are cloudless and maybe a few streaming clouds, high clouds late in the day, uh, Friday afternoon or Saturday morning, certainly uh, as we start to see a little bit more moisture develop to the far west. But for tonight, let's get you through tonight. Plenty of stars, patches of frost and fog, and winds generally add the northeast about three to eight miles per hour. Tonight we'll be in the 20s if you're in Bell County, Kentucky, 26 Middlesbrough for Crater City, as it's known, 29 in La Follette, Jacksboro, Caraville, about 30 for Crossville, Knoxville, Maryville, and Sevierville, Pigeon Forge. And if you're in Morristown, White Pine, about 28 degrees for you. 56 with wall-to-wall -wall sun tomorrow. Northeast winds will be about 5 to 10, so we'll be about 2 degrees cooler tomorrow than it was today, because today we hit 58. I'm expecting 55 for Morristown, 56 for 
Kingston, Rockwood, Harriman, and 57 for Athens in McMain County, about 57 for Newport for your Thursday afternoon high temperature. Looking ahead to the Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville, East Tennessee. Oh, yes, I had to put an 80% there. Sunday night, the rain will be coming down in buckets, and that may be just the time because it'll be colder in the Smokies that we start to notice some snowflakes on the radar. But with a 45 degree low, how are you going to get snow in the valley at 45? The answer, you're not. You're not. That's why it was clear to put on the graphic mountain snows for early Monday morning. But high temperatures Monday here, 51. If you want the coldest day of the next seven, uh, it looks like Tuesday, we don't get out of the 40s. We'll start off in the 30s and then eventually Tuesday night, we're back to about 25 degrees. By the way, keep track of it all using the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels Traffic, the best Knoxville traffic reports hands down, and he is found on the app. Now, you might be asking, is that the same traffic report I might hear on the radio? It is the same one. In fact, you don't have to wait for the commercials to air or pass by. You can go right to Pete's traffic report on the app. I think that's pretty fancy. Anyway, my name is David Alder. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so whether it doesn't surprise you, we'll see you here next time. Take care. Oh, my God.